you know, you, you want it to be subtle. You want it to be subtle. I think a lot of times, uh, even some like some of the piloncillos that you have that we use, we use piloncillo in a few of the adobos. You know, it has canela. You know, it has aromatics in it, and and hints of vanilla. I mean, everything is fresh. We dry our chiles, we toast them, we puree them, we mill them, and we grind them ourselves. And that's our chili powder, right? It's fresh ground chiles, whether it's pasilla or ancho or guajillo. We make our own powders. So, um, you know, when you look at a, a, a industrialized or commercialized product, you know, it's, it's you lose it in volume. You know, the identity of Tex-Mex and it, the, it, what it suffers from is from the commercialization by a handful of operators. And I'm, I can't say some of these national names, you know, because <laughs> sometimes they, they need it, they call me for advice and like, okay, what should we do different with our menus? I'm like, well, try to be different, you know, get more, be more original, you know, or be more authentic. Because, you know, you're talking about a cuisine with its own ingredients. You know, one of the trends, as you know today, is seasonal and local. So it's our seasonal and our local, local cuisine. So, you know, what's bad about that? You know, it represents the culture in, in, in La Zona. San Antonio, our city is known for Tex-Mex food. People come here from all over the world, and I guarantee you that what they're coming here to eat is Tex-Mex. Our river is, is visited by uh, a lot of travelers. The local does not go downtown, you know, and why don't they go downtown? Well, it's because, you know, maybe the food isn't that good or, Unfortunately, a lot of times it's because of the food, right? And it's not always the chef, but because you I mean it, it could be the owner that has his, you know, driven by whether it's driven by the bottom line and he doesn't understand food um, uh, the way a chef understands food. He's an operator looking at uh, labor costs and food costs, doesn't even understand where chile powder comes from. So how do you, you know, how do you? How do you make that transition? So I think, I think if we had more chef operators, then we'd, we'd stand a quicker, better chance of, of changing the perception.